Yeah, started. Now create the package called conditions. Let me create each condition. Okay. What I need to select here? Anybody? Public static. Yes. Main Without method. this main method, we, we can't execute the Java program. Okay. Let's finish it. Now, what is my question? I want to check. Okay. Mm, let's take it in different way. For example, if age is 18, then they will be eligible for voting. Okay. How, how we need to define the values? Anybody? Rather, I need to take uh, some value for A. What is the syntax? Syntax, sir. Hmm, yeah. yeah, sure. What is syntax mean? How we will write? Syntax I want is... Uh... Yes, System dot out dot plant. Planta. Sorry, print ln. That is to print the information. I am asking, I need to take some value in the A. How to declare the variables? How to assign the value into the variables? If you guys, if you learn blindly, no use. If somebody asking like this, how we people can answer? Sir, can I? Yeah, please, uh, Sharada, please tell me. Sir, no, int a is equal to, to 80. Correct. Asha got it. Just first learn the terminologies, what we will call. Blindly, what and all, we will learn. Okay. If you see operators, then I can do it. It's not like that. If you, you could recognize what is the variable means, what is variable initialization. Syntax means the process how we need to write. That is syntax we'll call in Java. That system dot out dot print LM, we will use it for print some information. That is line of code. Got it, Asha? Okay, here also why I am using yes. int. Guys, you said int. I didn't say that I will take integer value, right? Okay, if it is integer value, we can take it int. Okay, int, let me take a is equal to some 15. We need to end with semicolon. This is the syntax. This is nothing but assigning value to the variable. This is variable initialization we will call. Now, let's say how to check. I, I need to, let's say I need to print uh, let, um, people are eligible for voting if the age is more than 18. How I need to check it? Yes, we have to use the if condition. Let's say if age is age greater than or equal to 18. Guys, whenever you are using the condition, we should not use the semicolon next to that. Now, Asha, can you tell me, I want to print something, which statement I need to use here? Asha, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm there. I, I need to print like uh, if uh, age is greater than or equal to 18, then I need to print uh, they are eligible for voting. System How to print that? Yes. Yes, why? Yes, wo, system dot out dot print ln. Where I need to uh, mention that uh, text or that information? In that inside, within double quotes, I need to mention. Got it, Gayatri? I can say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Eligible for voting. Okay, now if not, what what will happen? Else say, we can uh, write what, else condition. Yeah, just we are discussing only if later we can check that okay, else okay. conditions. Okay, I can say end something. I will do it now. In this case, which system dot out dot print ln will execute? Guys, listen carefully now. What will happen in Java line by line code of execution? First, it will check, okay, class is there. Okay, main method is there. Okay, main method is there. Then under main method, what and all we have done? 
we have taken one integer value we assigned a variable called age with 15 now in the 11th line what can you guys go and meet please asha okay now what we are doing here in the 11th step i am checking whatever what, what is the value of age here gayatri what, what what i will get it here what is the value of age 15 guys 15 whatever i assign the value to age i will get 15 it will check 15 is greater than or equal to 18 we we, we discussed right in the operators what it will give if greater than or equal to means see a is greater than or equal to b if it is uh, matches the condition it will give true otherwise it will give false is that correct yes sir now now what will happen now my 15 will come here now the statement will looks like this let me come now 15 greater than or equal to 18 is this condition true or false 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 sir now see when this when this step will execute whenever this condition true then only whatever code you have written inside the conditions let's say either if condition or else condition whatever it may be when this statement is true then only it will enter into inside of this coding now what will happen it won't enter it won't enter then what is the next line the next line is system dot out end i have given now can you guys tell me which line of code will execute can you guys can tell the number here we have 10 11 12 13 14 15 no asha can you tell me which line of code will execute now Asha, what, what happened? Sir, no. You got it or not? Yeah, so eligible for voting. It will execute this one. Are you listening or not? It's it's okay, you can it's go on. Listening. Listening. And then can what you are saying? I am asking for this program, what is the output? In yeah, how you are saying? Can you explain the program? What will happen from ninth line? Fine, Gayatri, can you try? Sir, if age is uh, age is fifteen, okay, then it is uh, the statement is false. Mm -hmm. Eligible for voting, it will come false only, sir. Mm -hmm. When when this code will execute? When this line up? See, I will give something after else. After eleventh one, sir. Eleventh me. After eleventh. Uh -huh. It uh, no, thirteen will execute. No, correct. After eleventh, thirteen will execute. How it will come? Guys, again, I am explaining. Please concentrate. Now I have taken some value. When the code, whatever seen, I will write something else also inside the if condition. Let's say I will print, I see three, four times I will print. When when this code will execute means whenever this statement, this condition is true, then only the execution control will come to inside of inside means see the if if will start from 12th and end in 17. Got it, guys. When this line of code will execute, no, whenever this condition is true. Now in this my, my example, is the condition is true or false? What is the condition? Miss, I'm taking age is 15. 15 is greater than or equal to 18. Is that true or false? False. Yeah, yeah, here it is false. So what will happen? Whatever the code you have written inside the if condition, if condition will start from here to and end is 17. This code will not execute, it will skip, it won't go to inside. When it will go inside, whenever this condition is true, then only it will go inside. Otherwise, it, directly it will come to the 18th line. Got it, Asha Gayatri? Yes, yeah. sir. In this scenario, yes, which statement will execute? Now, 15 is not greater than or equal to 18. Now, if condition is false, my code will not, I mean, my execution will not go to inside from 12 to 17. It won't go, it will skip. Then what is the next line of code in 18 line? 18 line will execute. Let execute and see. Clear, Asha, Gayatri. Yes, sir. 
now can you guys tell me if i give 35 what is the output now if the statement is eligible for voting eligible for voting it uh, true only we get no 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 eligible for voting will not get true this if condition here 11th line we will get the true then what will happen gayatri can you tell me output of this program asha gayatri radha garu can you tell me what is the output of this program eligible for voting eligible sir. for voting because he is more than 18. Correct. So how many times it will execute, Asha? Let's remember, let execute and see. Why end also executed? I didn't use the else condition here. Because 35 is an end. <laughs> oh, no, no. That, what 35 is end? Not like that. Let remove this one, okay? If it is, see, if it is fail, it will come here. Let me use the else condition also here. We have if else condition. Now let me change to. Now see, for your understanding purpose, I, I entered that many times. Generally, it won't happen like that. Why the uh, why four times it is executing, Gayatri? I entered four times. What what we discuss inside system dot out dot and uh, uh, print ln. Whatever you mentioned, it will exit. Whenever this condition is true, it will go and check what and all code we have written inside the if condition. I return four times if four times system dot out dot print ln. That that's what it is printing four times. Clear, Asha? Whatever you write. If, if you write a plus b equal to 10, otherwise you are doing some calculation. Whenever this condition is true, then only it will come, uh, the control will come to inside if condition. Otherwise, it will go to else condition. Now, can you guys tell me which, which one it will execute? If fails nothing, guys. If this is true, then come to the code execution control to this line. If it is not, it go to next. Now, Radhagar, can you tell me which statement will execute? What is the output of my program now? Else okay. statements are not eligible for not, voting. Not eligible for voting. Correct. Clear, guys? If else condition. Asha, any doubts? If this condition is oh, true sorry. only, the control will come inside of this if condition. Inside of if condition means, see, Curly braces is the indication starting and ending. If condition will start here and end here. Else condition will start here and end here. Why these two curly braces? This curly braces, this one, the main method. This curly braces, 25 line curly braces is the class one. These two lines should be attained. Whatever coding you will write, you have to write inside the main method itself. Clear guys, if else condition? Yes, sir. The, when we have to use, let's say, for example, whenever we need to compare ba based on that, comparison will come means we will go for if else condition. Okay. Let's say this is single if. That means only one condition we are checking. If uh, uh, age is uh, more than 18, eligible for voting. Uh, less than 18 means they are not eligible. Only one condition we are checking. That's what we can we, we can use only if one if is enough. Let's say, for example, we want to check multiple conditions. For that time, where we will go, which one, which condition we will use, Rasul? Yes, it is. Yeah. Sir, nested yeah. if we are using. Nested if. Correct. What is nested means more than one uh, if else conditions. Clear, Gayatri, Asha? Nested yes. if else. 
first of all guys if you if you are going to learn anything first you learn why we need to learn this one you got the uh, the scenario where we need to use gayatri why we are learning this something you need to compare if something is okay then it true otherwise false during that situation we'll go for condition statement if else condition okay we have if else why we need to go for nested if else if more than one condition you need to check that time you need to go for nested if else condition got it asha gayatri adagaru yes sir okay. nested if else let's say for example let me take the what i can take let's say weekdays i will take let's say day later we will pass whatever we want no guys can you tell me which operator i need to use here now if previously here i am checking greater than or less than now i need to tell if day equal to something something i need to print which operator i need to use operators we learned right of among this one which I operator i need sorry sorry yeah uh, yeah guys can you tell me which operator i need to use here assignment operator uh sorry here come here comparison see what and all symbol we need to use greater than less than now i don't want to use the greater than equal to equal to operator we need to use guys that means a value is equal to the b value like that got it let's say now if can somebody tell me what is the difference between single equal and double equal single equal so you have to assign the assigning operator sir where okay. comparison one, one is by one. compare between the two variables two values not the variables uh, values now let's say what is day equal to equal to one means uh, here asha now what is the day value five it is equal to one it will check like that okay now let's say if it is equal to one let me print sunday now seven seven days i need to cross check now if i use the else condition only one condition i can check that means if day equal to equal to 1 it will print sunday else it will print some other day but now it's not like that i have to check each and every day in the week which statement i need to use if is done you have to use else if again condition let me take day equal to equal to 2 let me use is that monday like that guys let me check for all the days what is 3 means sir this is we can call it as else if ladder sir not nested if nested if means we have to check more number of ifs at a time mm -hmm. what we will call this one else if ladder sir ladder i didn't learn those yes. things sharad i learned it yes, so it is like a, that's fine yeah, whatever you mean, uh. yeah yeah means initial stage uh, only after declaration you have to check more number of if conditions at a time mm -hmm. uh, the real example for uh, nested if is uh, biggest of three numbers you have to find mm -hmm. might be might be you can but but the logic is see whatever the name you give it you first i want you people to understand this logic and whenever we are implementing in uh, sorry uh, in selenium we should know it even though if you see even data types operator there are many are there but we don't want all those things okay no leave about the naming whenever the situation comes how we will solve that i want you people to know clear sharda 
Okay. Okay. You, even if uh, three numbers, if we give three numbers, I can check here also, no? Which is greater than? Okay. Might be that's what was here. The Java is the huge subject. Might be I am not knowing everything. Yes, what sir, I but want... the syntax is different, sir. That's why I am telling. Oh, what, for what uh, syntax is different? For yeah, listed, at what, case, what we will call, leave about that, uh, whatever, what we will call this okay. way of writing. Okay, sir. Okay. No, 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 sir. What we will call, I'm asking. I will change the name. So no, that sir. If day equals to equals to one, Rasar Gadamiru. So, Akademana at a time, same time, if day equals to equals to two Raste, and then nested if out of printf statement, Kimundu Rasta one matter. So, else if conditions continuous Garastamana, else if ladder out of matter, and syntax different. Then else if ladder and Taramipro. No, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whatever you want, you remember like that only, okay? Okay, okay, sir. Okay, fine. Guys, now I want you all to check this. Based on my day, whatever I will pass it, it has to check that condition and it will print that respect to um, whatever day we will call. Okay. Now let's say we'll Tuesday. Now, guys, the, the thing is whatever the naming conversion, but whenever the selling our intention is is not like we want to become the Java developer, we want to become the automation engineer, test engineers. For that, by keeping in that mind, we will do this one. Let's say, for example, you are having the 10th examination for two, two chapters. You will concentrate on the two chapters only, even though th there are nine, 10 no, chapters you will be having. We, we don't care about the remaining. We don't want that. Okay. Let's say, for example, day equal to four. Let me print. Let me stay. What we can use next? We we'll leave only else. Sir, you are written day is equal to is equal to five only, no? Then again, why is six, seven, and all need to check for? No, I will tell the scenario once again. Okay, based on whatever the value I will pass. Let's say how many days in a week? Seven days. That's it. Seven days. What is the number? The let's say the first number day day starting will be let's say Sunday. Okay. Then second day Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday like that. Now. I, I want you guys to check based on the condition, which the value I will pass based on that, that respect to code should execute. One, one second, I will explain now, everyone. Now what will happen? Let's say for example, I am passing day value equal, equal to mint assigning operator. Now what is the value of day? Gayatri, what is the value of day? Gayatri, five, 50. sir. Yeah, five. What will happen? Line by line execution. Now, here it will come in the 11th line. Here condition I am checking, if condition. Five is equal to equal to one. Is this true or false? False, sir. The, if fa false means what will happen? This if condition it will, will be... Execute. Correct. If this if condition will be escaped, I mean it won't go the inside. Now it will come to 16th line. Again, here we are checking the condition else if. What is happening? Again, it will check here. Five false is only. Fa false only. What will happen? This will skip inside. It, it won't go. Skip. Now what will happen? Again, it will come to 21th line. The five is equal to equal to three. 
no right it will skip then uh, like that this also will skip now here what will happen the 5 equal to equal to 5 now this is true what, what it will yes. execute first yes it then what will happen it will break next next thing it won't execute i i whatever the output i want i got it next line sub code will ignore it won't it won't execute it won't it will skip got it gayatri yes sir now thursday let's say for example i am giving 50 asha can you tell me the output sir so, uh, day not matched statement will execute sir Correct, because it will compare one by one. The output will be day not matched. Okay. Uh, Radhagar, can you tell me what is the output now? Sunday. Yeah. How, how we are saying? If the one is there, day. one equal to equal to one. Let's say the, this yeah. one only, 11th condition only match. Remaining condition, yeah. it won't execute. It will ignore. Won't execute. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sharada, can you tell me if I want to check more than 20 conditions, which, which condition statement you will prefer? Whatever later it fails, it fails, nested it fails, it fails. Many we have, right? Any one we can use. I want to check some 10 to 20 scenarios. Which yes, one sir, you will sir. prefer? My loops. Why, sir? Uh, loops. Uh, in... uh, one second. Teja, loops are different. I'm not asking. In loops, you will compare the things. Yes, sir. I'm asking in if else conditions. Uh, while that is looping conditions is different to uh, conditional statements. Yes, are sir. Different. Conditional and looping are different, sir. Correct. I'm asking here. Let's say same thing. I want to do it. We have other way around also we can do. Let's For say loops. if it, For... no. Sharada. Which... Sir, using switch also we have to check. Switch. Sir. Correct. Correct. The same thing we can do generally in the real time scenarios. Let's say here you know it. If you pass this condition, we have only some six to seven conditions we need to check. But let's say some 10 conditions you need to verify. More than 10 conditions. That time we will go to the switch statement. Let, let me do it the same thing by using the switch. Uh, Asha, Radhagaru, uh, Rasul, hope you people understand why we will go for these uh, conditional statements. Okay. Yes. In Selenium, guys, let's say, for example, I can say if the one, uh, one price, let's say, for example, mobile phone is greater than 20 means, let's say cost is 20 of one mobile, let's say 2000. Whatever the mobile value is more than 2000, those mobile phones eligible for uh, gift card. Got it, Rasul? This is my scenario. I have to do it. Now, during that time, we have to go for if else condition. What you need to do? You have to get that price and you need to compare that is eligible for gifting or not. Let's gift card or not. Clear? Radha Garu, Sharada, Teja? Then we'll use this kind of things in the Selenium. Sir. Yes. Yes, sir. It's something that value which is greater than 2000 uh, value that that mobile is eligible for some gift coupon. We need to check that one. Then we need to use the false conditions. Okay, let, let me do it the same thing in by using the switch. Guys, nobody will ask you in interview, can you tell me what is the difference between if else, nested if else, ladder if else, switch case, nobody will ask you guys. But if you want to do some coding in Selenium, you first you must know what is exactly the basics in the Selenium. That's what we are learning. The Sel Java itself, we can learn for two months, three months also. We have a lot of things. If you want to become a Java developer, you can concentrate on that. If you decided to become an automation test engineer, no need of entire Java. Be based on your interest. Let's say, for example, you are keeping some four to five years of experience and trying the job. You are getting some questions on Java because that by that time, after joining, you could have used the multiple concepts of Java. That time, they definitely they will ask in depth of Java. If we are keeping in that mind, we have to explore from now onwards. Clear, Teja, Sharada? Okay, yes. let's see. Switch case. 
Anybody can tell me, can I try the syntax? Now let's let, let it be like that. We have one this channel keywords, it's SW. Sharada, can you help me out with the syntax? Yes, sir. Yeah, Switch, uh, initially, declaration itself only we have to declare first. Correct. Uh, I have declared, day, right? Same hmm. program. Yes. Give the options for that day, sir. Or day, uh -huh. whatever it may be. Yeah. Uh, case study, like case one. Case first one. Part, right? Check the every case, sir. Let's say case, case. one. Yeah. Let's say case two. Is that correct? Case three. Yes. Case four. Case five. Case six. Case seven. What we have to use at last? Yeah, at last default, sir. Yeah, well, default we need default. to use. Okay. Now yes. let's copy paste the same things. And one more thing we need to use, I guess. We have to break. Break. Sir. break. 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 I, guys, in previously what I said, Gayatri, let's say if my my statement is matching here what will happen to remaining statements whatever the remaining code it will skip clear asha yes sir it won't exit wherever you see it will comp 